Hey guys, welcome. My name is Dana and this is the Pink Peony Oracle. So today I'm doing a reading for Capricorn. Um, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you get here is when you get here. Um, there's, there's a bit of a story in your cards. I even had to pull clarifiers to make sure that the message I was receiving was the right one. Um, so, I'm just going to get into it. Okay, so the first card you got in your... I, can't, I don't even... Okay, so what is going on around you and with you is... You got the Reconciliation card... Then you got the Taming the Wind. And then you got the Two of Raphael, which is like the Two the two of Cups. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is... Okay, let me show you the clarifiers. Okay, actually, I'll show you together as we go through them. So, your current energy... I think someone, someone is considering a reconciliation, a situation where there was betrayal, where there was heartache, pain, an ending of sorts. This is a 10, okay? Now, I'm noticing the moon. Now, there's really a need in this situation to see the bigger picture, to have a bigger perspective. And the moon being so, like, so big in this card is really speaking of, like, emotions on high, okay? <clears throat> now, with the Taming the Wind card, you got the two of wands. So, what I'm seeing with this is Taming the Wind, and it's a 55, which speaks of change, um, big change. So, what I'm seeing with this, Taming the Wind is, is almost coming through as a lot of mental clutter, a need there's like a lot of overthinking coming through in this card. Like there's a lot of chaos in this, in this mind going on here. And with the two of wands, it's almost like, it's almost like I'm actually getting like overanalyzing, like stuck between two places, a decision or a choice point or like but also uh a, like an evaluation point and that could be causing all of this like mental conflict as i said that i saw 333 three, three. what is 333 three, three? anyway okay so the next two cards you got was the two of Raphael. notice Notice these cards look very similar. Two people, a light in the center, except, oh, okay, reconciliation just flipped upside down. So maybe I'll leave it at that because what came out with it, clarifying it, was the devil. Now, this is your card, <clears throat> but what I'm getting is a situation where there was more than one energy involved <clears throat> a situation that isn't wasn't for the best it's see it's a bit murky yeah now this is this is all of your energy i think this is everything this is these two things are possibly the 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 two things that you're like Balancing out, wonder, not balancing, but uh, looking upon, deciding upon. 
it's, it's like these two ones it's what you're considering what's what's actually taking up your mental space because these two this is bracketing this okay so these two cards are bracketing this in the center which is kind of telling me that this this is actually your main energy yet you're juggling to these two these two things okay <clears throat> so you take this how it resonates for you i'm not going to get too too into it let me tell you though how i am feeling i'm feeling very tired very drained i'm doing this in this this reading but i am feeling extremely very worn down i'm gonna say so so that's kind of i think your your mental state the things you're thinking about and considering right now perhaps it is about a reconciliation with a, an old partner an old person someone you care deeply about where there was some not so good energy involved in the situation now okay the next two cards you got and i think this is the two individuals that are playing this is you and someone else now take this energy flip it reverse it make it your own however it fits in your story if this does not fit in your story just chuck it if this is not your story throw it away because this seems like a very specific situation so and i must tell you also at the bottom of the mystical shaman card you got the beloved in reverse so i do think this might have to do with like a, a romantic situation someone you cared about very deeply and it's almost like I often see I often see this card like someone putting your heart back in to place like popping it back into where it needs to be and like this it's almost like dropping like your heart's been dropped you have you your heart was dropped now okay now your next two cards that you got were the high priest and the traveler now I'm taking this as to these two individuals you decide who you want to be who you are in this situation so how i'm feeling is notice they have their backs towards each other what i'm getting so to clarify this the the we'll get into the high priest whoever that is what i'm getting is that so let's say this is the masculine energy. You got the emperor in reverse to clarify this. Now, how I'm seeing it is an individual that is one not listening to their own inner authority. Um, someone who could be acting... How do I want to describe it? Um, okay, so almost like someone who's acting a bit, can act a bit prideful. Um, it's mainly coming through as like not listening to their own direction their own like just listening to themselves okay i'm trying to be very mindful about how i, I don't want to describe anyone too hectically so let's say that's the masculine energy 
Emperor in reverse though is someone that can be a bit like I'm just gonna say sour. It can be someone that's a bit sour. <laughs> and then let's say this is the feminine energy, okay? The traveler. This is someone who is moving away from a situation, okay? And it was clarified by the King of Wands. So this is this is someone who who has plans, who has who has maps, who who has a a, a clear distinction of who they are, where they want to go, and what they want to do with themselves. Um, harnessing masculine energy is someone that it is someone that does something, goes out and makes things happen okay with a lot of that fiery energy it can also come across as someone very um can be a very sexual energy especially with like all of this red and um <clears throat> so this is the other individual or as i said that 11 11 now the next card you have is autumn the autumn card and this card speaks of now okay so i think those are the two individuals and this is the guidance now so the autumn card speaks of releasing allowing dead situations like dead leaves to fall away to be released and like I said, I'm very tired. Like I'm feeling very, very tired. Now I am filming this, filming this in the evening. But I felt very, very cold too. Like I couldn't not do this reading <laughs> right now. So this card does speak of resting. Like recuperating your energy. But now mainly it's about letting go. Being willing to let go. And with this black bird, the raven or the crow, it's about listening to what your intuition is telling you. Birds are also being like, they, fl they fly away. They fly and migrate and move away. So clarifying that, you got the eight of cups. Now this is someone who is clearly has their back turned to the situation and is needing to move move in a new direction go out in a new path also someone that's leaving behind eight cups cups that weren't fulfilling that weren't enough okay so that's why possibly there's a need for you to let go of a situation your intuition is telling you to move away from a situation where and cups, cups are like, um, uh, emotional situations. So your intuition is telling you or the other person to move in a new direction, to walk away from the situation, drop it. Then the next card you got, and I really don't like taking these cards in reverse, but this is how they came out and the clarify <laughs> i'll tell you about the clarify so you got father scar now this is someone this is this is clarifying that you literally got the hierophant in reverse also so this is someone who's not listening to their higher guidance system who's not looking at things looking at things from the correct perspective who's not understanding that there's a divine plan here okay and and like who's not you know it's like there's a lack of trust in a in in the higher aspects that are trying to move you and lead you in this new direction or this other person um it's like really wanting to ignore ignore your intuition and w when i was <laughs> When I was doing the, the, the clarifying with my tarot, this was the first card 
out of all the car all the clarifiers that flew out it flew out in reverse and literally landed on top of this card like boom so this is like a double confirmation that someone is not listening to their higher powers someone is not trusting where they're being led they're not perceiving things in the right way they're not using their wisdom as well as coming through so see notice how there's two people here and the 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 spiritual authority is not being in reverse you're not i think you get the picture so the last card you got was um the mother earth mother earth card so now you've got the father sky and mother earth now this this is this could be parental energies um or a a, a guarding masculine feminine card although actually i haven't pulled your your guidance cards yet but they were facing up and you actually got the mother father god card so and i was having this conversation with a friend of mine today how <laughs> we were debating we weren't really debating we were discussing um how she she's she's she have it like heavily believes in god and also the universe and she's she she's like i know they're the same thing sort of but i always think of the universe as a female and i was like well you know if you think about it logically it takes both it takes both to create um so <laughs> i don't know why this is coming out um, so there's something about like mother, father, God, <laughs> mother and father energies. Okay. Now, let me just get back to the message though. The mother earth card came out in reverse and I heard this is no longer a fertile situation. This is no longer a situation for fertile energy. There's no more, there's no more growth here. There's no more growth. There's no more. It, it's almost like with her eyes closed. It's like, let's put it to bed. There's nothing more to nurture here. And um, you got the page, the page of wands clarifying this. Now, the page of wands is someone who goes out and moves with a, um, a fresh inspirational energy. A brand new start with his individual wand and moves towards something new and like with a hopeful energy now this is in reverse so I think it's just clarifying that this lack of fertile energy is not a place for something new to begin for someone to move towards um if you're catching the drift it's just another like clarification repetition i did pull the clarifiers to confirm that i was getting these <laughs> this message correctly so oh, on the bottom of the deck that i was clarifying with my neo tarot you have the five of cups okay so this is kind of like the whole situation. Again, it's this, it's this um, heart, the, the beloved in reverse. Okay, so as you can see, all the three cups are spilled. This person is very sad. The three, the three cups being the community, the, the situation. Okay, however, it, this being, this person has their back turned to two cups literally right here waiting to be taken okay they aren't spilled there are opportunities there are actually two there are two options that are hopeful there are two fresh cups behind you two of cups being another 
romantic opportunity, another opportunity for another. This could be playing out in like as a friendship as well, though. So that this is the underlying energy is that yes, these three cups are spilled. Yes, you're sad and you know mourning possibly, but there is another opportunity for another loving energy to come in now oh and um um i did when i did use the i used my other tarot deck you got the world card on the bottom and this speaks of endings things ending and remember i used the i used it for your your current energy so this two of cups and the devil that's ending that cycle is done coming full circle and with this being like archangel michael with his sword yeah it's about seeing clarity in the situation once you can allow this this culmination point this finality of the situation um so oh, also on the bottom of the deck here yeah, you have a uh, what's it called courage so this is this is the this is my spell casting oracle which is a new one so this is about i think this is actually about you picking up picking yourself up picking yourself up being courageous enough to move in this new direction that you're being led. So I'm going to pull. That's, that's the story coming through here. I'm going to pull a guidance card for you. And we'll see. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That card just flipped. You got. Hectic. Okay. So you got surrender. Oh, my word. Notice how this is these it's like it's these hands. Remember how I said I often see this card as like your heart being put back into place. That's what this is. Your angels and guides, okay, because on the bottom, let me show you on the bottom of the deck, you got healing energy. Okay. So I think what your angels, your guides whoever you whoever you believe in at this point because i don't know if you believe in this but whoever your team is around you they're pushing your heart back into place but they're needing you to surrender to the situation they're needing you to accept it for what it is because you need to heal from this, okay? They're also sending you healing energy on top of it. I am wearing green. Green is the color of Raphael, who sends healing energy. In fact, a good exercise um, for heart healing and emotional healing is in a meditative state, in a relaxed state, whenever, in the shower, standing in the shop, queue, line, whenever, is... You can take a couple deep breaths and with every in-breath, visualize this emerald color surrounding you, filling up your lungs, filling up your entire energetic field. See, notice all of that. Filling it all up around you and just doing it a couple times and see if it helps. Okay, call in Archangel Raphael, like I said, if that's your business. If that's your vibe, it might help you. It might not. That's entirely up to you. This is just an exercise that might help you. It popped in my head. So so you're being given healing energy. You have an opportunity to heal. You have an opportunity for your heart to be put back into where it belongs. Okay. But you need to surrender to this. There needs to be a point of acceptance coming in here. Now... 
Those are the two cards. Oh, okay. I just split the deck and you got Sacred Plan. This card has been coming out a lot. Sacred Plan. This is about... This is about... Oh, wow. Okay. So, you seeing the situation for what it is. Your heart being opened and put back where it needs to be. And then this courage energy, this lion energy in the solar plexus area... That's your confidence. That's the courage. That's you you needing to trust that there is a sacred divine plan in this whole thing. Now, I'm just going to pull one more, one more card from the Moonology deck just to see where you're heading. Oh, hectic. I said one more, but I clearly not. Oh, wow. Okay. So, okay. So at the bottom of the deck, you got conclusions are within reach. Notice this really big moon again. Heightened, heightened emotions. And there is a big super moon coming up, which will be bringing up a lot of these things. Um, a lot of these big emotions. Everything's a bit amplified. And the card that flew out was a time for healing balsamic moon so clearly there's a lot of healing that needs to take place here and then you got bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius so what i think this means is i think it's really talking about you notice how there's like an individual an individual with pouring water onto oneself now water is cleansing water is healing it is nourishing and nurturing and i think this is everything you need to be doing for yourself right now this is everything you need to be bringing into your situation filling up yourself with this love feeding yourself as much as you can working on your healing working on this emotional body i really i really hope I really hope this helped you in some way. Like I said, if this isn't your story, move along. It's very specific. If it is your story, I'm sending you love and light and healing and as much as I can. Um, I hope this, this reading served you in some way. So Capricorn. Have a lovely day wherever you are. <laughs>